Hey guys, what's up? It's Luke, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use Motion Sketch uh, Auto Orient along a path and use a particular trail. So here's what it's going to look like. So what this basically is, is using Motion Sketch, I sketched out a path in a position, and that's all that. And then with particular, I linked the emitters uh, position in the XY to uh, position. So the emitter in particular is following this. All right, so let's go and make it. So just do a new comp, 1280 by 720, or it's the same thing. Okay, so I'm going to do a new solid. Actually, I'll just copy, copy the copy it from here. So this is just a basic solid, and this is just that. Okay, so we have our ship right here. It's just a regular solid, nothing much, and then what I'm going to do is right here you should have motion sketch and if you don't just go to window and you should just click on this and it's to check and what's not checked it won't show up and what is checked will show up so motion sketch is checked so it's right here all right so before we start using it I'll tell you what each thing does so the capture speed Usually what you'll see is 100 and then 1. So 100 is it's capturing like each thing you do. So it's capturing every single motion you do. And the smoothing is capturing every single uh, keyframe. But if we do maybe 50%, maybe, maybe 10 keyframes, and then start this capture. It'll be much more smooth and it'll be much more easy to edit. So if you see, there's not as many keyframes. So if we were to do the normal one, there'd be a ton of keyframes. See, there's so many keyframes and it's not very editable. If you want to change, like see, uh, right here, it's not very smooth and it'd be kind of hard to change without having to change this one. And it'll just get really annoying. So I usually do about 75 and 10. And make sure your background's on because if it's not on, you won't be able to see what you're doing. And usually that's very useful in animations. So put your background on. And I'm gonna have the ship start over here. And I'll start to sketch. So I'll just have a little. All right, so there we go. All right, so let's say like I don't like this path, I can just change it like that and that'll change this keyframe or maybe this path I wanna be longer, just go like that. All right, and usually what I do is I'll select all the keyframes and go into the keyframe interpolation and I'll make all these Beezer. And what this will do is it'll make it all like that's Beezer so uh, it'll make it really really smooth and instead of lock the time I'm gonna do rove across time so it's not exactly accurate but uh, it makes it just look more realistic and then after that there's a uh, you can't change these keyframes so do what I just did before I mean after you're done your uh, animation and everything because I don't think you can change after and then I'm going to select all these again and I'm going to go to easy ease. So this will have it start really fast and then go uh, slower in the middle and then end really fast. Actually, I think it's going to go into the graph. Yeah, it goes, uh, starts out slow and then it will go like that. And for for yours, it's not gonna it's not gonna look like that. Yours will probably look like this. See that that doesn't look good. It's not 
it's not going along the path or any anything. So what you want to do is select your little shape layer and go to layer, transform, and then do auto orient and do auto orient long path. And what that will do is it'll make it go along the position path. And sometimes it's not exactly on the position path. Mine is because uh, I changed the rotation. But even if you change the rotation like that, it'll be oriented to that rotation. So you just want to have it orient along that path and have it in sync with the orientation. All right, so I'm just gonna create a copy of this, make it black, add a Gaussian blur, make it like 25, bring the opacity down to maybe 20. Bring this below that, bring up the position, and select the entire position, and I'm gonna have it right here, just so there's a little shadow to it. And I think, I haven't tried it, but I think if you put drop shadow on this, let me just try. I don't think it will go along with it as well as creating a separate layer. Yeah, especially since, since it's uh, really small. Oh, no, I just like creating a separate layer for the shadow. Makes it a bit more editable. Okay, so now we're gonna do the particular trail. And for that, you just wanna do layer new solid, and name it particular, particular trail, and the trap code particular. And I'll single this out and we can look at the particle and make it look nice. Um, I usually put the size over life there, maybe. If you do this, it makes it look like it's sparkling, which is pretty cool. Same with the opacity of real life. Kind of like an afterburner effect. And usually put the opacity random and the size random up a little bit. So that's, that's looking good. And then I'm gonna go to rendering and I'm gonna turn the motion blur on. Okay, so now you want to bring up the position here and go into particular and go to your emitter and go to position of the XY click alt on the stopwatch and you'll have a pinwheel here and then you want to drag the pinwheel to the position so what this will do go ahead and quickly render it yeah, put this below Okay, so let's render this real quick. So as you see in the render, the particular is following the shape. And it has really nice movement too. And it's uh, it's actually going, like there's velocity to it. See how these particles are going out because they went that way. If you want to put a lot of velocity on it, you can... Uh, Bring the velocity up and then bring maybe velocity from motion way up. I mean, this will look crazy, but. I mean, just mess around with those settings. I usually just stick with the standard ones because it looks pretty good right now. All right. And the animation. Looks pretty good with these uh, the keyframe interpolation and the easy ease. As you can see, it starts out a little slow and it goes really fast on those turns. All right, so there's a lot you can do with this technique. Leave any suggestions. Um, hope you guys learned something today. In the comments. Thanks, and later. See you guys later. Peace.